Hi guys. Um, there's something like boiling up in me like crazy. Happy New Year, by the way. I just hope you had a blessed Christmas and a great New Year. Um, the, the, Lord, the Lord's been having me in worship all day. I, I had something planned, but I think the Lord had something else to say. I'm just... I'm just so astounded at how he's moving in this room right now. All I keep hearing is, right now is, You, Lord, you are worthy, and no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me, yes, no one can worship you for me. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship, here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship. All of my worship, you, Lord, you are worthy, and no one can worship you for me, for all the things you've done for me. Yes, no one can worship you for me. Here's my worship. All of my worship. Receive my worship. All of my worship. I will not be silent. I will always worship you as long as I am breathing. I will always worship you. Here's my worship, all of my worship. Receive my worship, all of my worship. Here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my worship, all of my worship. I worship you, Lord God. You are awesome. And I also hear him saying, start a prayer revolution. Um, in Ontario, uh, right now, the COVID cases are 19,000. So that means today, 19, yesterday, 19,000 people got diagnosed with COVID-19 in, in a variety of, with a variety of, variety of seriousness um 
and and the world's been talking about this for two years, and we've been talking about it too, but in a lesser way. When I say we, I mean the body of Christ. Um, and he's saying, um, us ignoring it, that it's out there, is not doing anything. We need to be praying about this insidious demon from hell that, have, that has stolen all our lives. And make no mistake, it is from hell. And whether it's a sign of Jesus is coming or not, I don't know. But all I know, it is. It, it has stolen our, all our lives. And the only way we can combat COVID and all its minions is through prayer. So, I may get to the sermon later, but... Um, the Lord said, um, using, using the Beatles to revolution, he said to me, he brought to my spirit, he, he brought, start a prayer revolution, hey, oh. that old Beatles song revolution, he kind of, um, uh, remixed it and said to start a prayer revolution. So, I may get to the sermon today, or maybe not, but I I feel in my spirit that we need to pray for, um, for a few things in this world. We need to pray for uh, this the dismantling of this demon called COVID, and we need to pray for all of the things that it's affected. We need to pray for weather patterns that are going on in the world because what's happening is the earth is groaning. Uh, like it's basically trying to say, wake up, I can't take it anymore. And we're just sitting back as the body of Christ saying, okay, Jesus is coming, we don't need to worry. No, we don't need to worry, but we do need to pray. And I think the reason why this thing, why this thing has continued for so long is churches are not praying. We're, we're singing. We're having great Christmas things. We're having great fun things, but we're not seeing that we need to pray. We're just focusing, oh, Jesus is coming. It could be or it could not be. I, t I tend to believe that this is the beginning of something, not so much the end. And I think it's time for the smoke screen to come off of our eyes and to, for us to really see what's going on. And I think this is the perfect time for God to move and I think prayer is the catalyst for that. I don't, I think God can move however he wants, wherever he wants, but, but prayer gives him a portal to move. He can move, but because he's a gentleman, he doesn't move without our, without our permission, although he can, and sometimes he does, but Prayer gives him that, um, gives him our say so, although the earth is his, and he can move, but he, he doesn't often because we don't pray about the situation. And then, so, that's what I'm going to do now. Father, I come to you today, Lord Jesus, with a heart that's that's seeking you and longing for you god i pray lord god that every case of covid right now lord jesus be dismantled i pray pray that breath that has been stolen is being revived oh god revive people restore people Lord God, do what only you can do, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, 
that you set the captive free, that you heal our bodies, heal our minds, heal our job situations, God. We need your healing, God. We need your restoration, God. We need we need your wisdom, God. Lord God, we need your wisdom in so many areas, God. Your bride is is thriving in some places and she's struggling in some places. We need your hand, God, to still this storm. First you first we need you to still the storm in us. Before you, do, before you do anything outside, we even we pray for the storm to stop outside. But before you still anything outside, we need you to still the storm in us. Some of us are raging, God. Some, most of us are raging in in certain ways. Some of us, our marriages are falling apart. Oh God. Our children are falling apart. Our elderly parents are falling apart, Lord God. We need you to restore us, God. Restore us to to the original brilliance that you've called us to, God. I pray, Lord God, for, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you beat back the forces of evil that is that are trying to steal this world from you. We declare right now that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein, the, the earth is yours. And there is nothing that any devil or any virus can do to stop that. We declare that you are still God in all of this. And we remember that you created this world for us. No, first for yourself and then for us to inhabit. And we know that you inhabit the praises of your people. Break every chain, God. Restore every marriage, God. Restore every heart, God. Restore our children, God. Restore our finances, God. Bring everything back, Lord God, into order, God. Teach us your order, God. We, 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 we have our own order, Lord God, but your order is the best, and we submit. And we, first of all, before we submit, submit to your order, we repent for everything we've done wrong. We repent for everything that is not of you, every thought, every demonic activity that we participated in, even in our minds, even in our hearts, Lord God. Everybody that we've gossiped about, everybody that we've slandered, Oh God, without even knowing it, Lord God, we repent of all these sins, oh God, Lord God, and we want you to move, move in this world today, move in our health system today, move in our hospitals today, move in our marriages today, move in our families today, move in our finances today, move God, we need you to move, we need you to move, we desperately need you God, we desperately need you like never before, your girl Lord God, she needs you today, she needs you to put your arms of love around her, to put your arms of acceptance around her. We know that you love us and accept us, Lord God. But let us feel that today. Let us feel that today, Lord God. And break every chain, oh God. Every chain of sickness and disease, oh God. Break it in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare people are being cleansed. People are being healed. Marriages are being restored, oh God. Restore us, God. Restore us, God. 
Restore us, God. Restore us, God. Restore us, Lord. Restore us. We need to be restored. The world is in chaos. And everything is crazy right now. But we know that you and the craziness will be the final say. And I pray, Lord God, that you restore back to order your church, your bride. We've been playing church for too long, God. We've been entertaining for too long instead of ministering ministering to hearts, oh God. We don't seem to understand uh, how broken people are, how they don't how they don't need form or fashion or whatever. They need you, oh God. Bring us back to the purity of the gospel, the purity of your word, the purity of your love, the purity of your your grace, God. Give us strategy on how to minister to the to the to the to this broken world. This this old strategy of of preaching and ministering, oh God. Not to say that it's not good, but Lord God, give us new strategy. Give us new ideas. Give us new wisdom, oh God, on how to reach this generation. New ways of preaching, new ways of worshiping, because we know that the basis of your word and your worship never changes, but the way we deliver it changes, oh God. We need a new strategy uh, worldwide about how to minister uh, to these people, to this lost world, oh God. And Lord God, I pray for the people already in the church, people hurting, people struggling in so many different ways, God. I pray that you will, that you will show them that you are God and you will forever be God. Lord God, heal their hearts, heal their marriages, restore their families, oh God. I declare that parents are are opening the lines of communication with their children. I, I declare that husbands are opening the lines of communication with wives, oh God. I declare, Lord God, that marital breakdown, it will be no more, and and couples are restoring intimacy in their marriage, not just sexual intimacy, although that is a factor, but spiritual intimacy. I declare that couples are praying together. I declare that families are eating together, laughing together, praying together, sharing your word together, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that we will look more like you, God. Teach us how to be more like you. Teach us how to be more like you, God. We need to be more like you. We need to be more like you. We need to be more like you, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you will just sanctify us Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, O oh God. All of our behaviors that are not pleasing to you, Lord God. Um, just restore the behaviors that are. Get rid of the behaviors that are not. Burn up everything that is not of you. Set us ablaze for your kingdom. Set us ablaze with your spirit. Set us ablaze with your mercy, Lord God. I praise you, Lord God. I worship you, Lord God. Stretch forth your hand. Come these seas, O oh God. First come the seas in us, O oh God. And then come the seas outside of us. The world's been too long in turmoil. For two years we've been in turmoil. And I declare a stopping by the power of the Holy Spirit today. 
I declare, stop, the earth is the Lord's, and Satan, you can't have it, you cannot have it, it is not yours, it doesn't matter what it looks like, it's still the Lord's. Yes, Lord, break every chain, break every chain. Let love flow, let forgiveness flow, let grace flow, flow down to the very marrow of our parliament, O oh God. Flow down to the very marrow of our prime ministers and our presidents, O God. Flow. Let wisdom flow in political arenas, O God. Whatever decisions that are coming down the pipe, Lord God, let them be decisions that you've ordained. O God, dismantle any false politician, O God. Any false prophet, either religious prophet or uh, political prophet, dismantle them. Let the truth of your word still stand. Let the truth of your word still stand. Dismantle fear, Lord God. Dismantle fear, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you will be, that you will, that you will be so strong in people's heart, oh God. Let love flow, God. What we need is love. What we don't understand is love is not weak. Love is the strongest emotion. Love changes people. We need your strong love to wrap around us. And when we have your strong love, to wrap around us, it will flow out to other people. They need to, they need to feel your love, God. They need to feel your acceptance. And forgive us, Lord, for all the communities that we've been less gracious to, oh God. Uh, all the communities, such as the LGBT community, and such as every every other community that we have not been gracious to. We can disagree without being disagreeable, but our disagreement has pushed people you love away. And we don't have to disagree with them, but what we need to show them you, and in showing them you, it breaks the back of the enemy. Let us not see the sin. Let us see the spirit behind the person. Because every sin has a spirit behind it. Let us see the spirit behind the person. Let us see um, the not for their actions so much, but let us, let us see uh, them as a person that you love. Although we may not understand it, although we may not agree with it, we don't have to understand it and agree with it. But we need to love them. And we need to love them strong. I declare a love strong anointing. Love is not weak. Love is strong. And I declare that we will love strong. We will love our family strong. We will love our we will love our politicians strong. We will love the communities that we don't understand strong. Cause your love can transform any life, any sin, any any dross. Your love is the pinnacle of what we need in this world. We need your extraordinary love. Make us over. Love us. Love us over. Show us how to love people that we disagree with in our families, in our homes, and in our communities, God. I pray that your presence 
abide with us today like never before. Abide with us, O oh God. And I declare that your word will stand. I declare that this prayer will stand. I declare that you, your peace will stand. I declare that your glory will fill the earth like never before. I declare that COVID will be the seed that falls to the ground and dies. But from it can grow the seeds of life. Lord Jesus, I declare out of this mess, you are now growing seeds of life. Seeds of understanding, seeds of wisdom, seeds of forgiveness, seeds of love. I declare that you are restoring families, that you are restoring jobs, that you are restoring people to themselves. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I break the back of the enemy, O oh God, and I declare that the earth is the Lord's. The earth is the Lord's devil, and no demon in hell, and no virus from hell is going to take that, is going to change that. I declare it in Jesus' name. I declare just joy. Fill us with joy, not happiness, but with joy. Happiness is situation. Situational happiness goes up and down, and it's okay to be happy. But it's better to have joy. Because joy is abiding. Fill us with your abiding joy, O oh God. Fill us with your abiding peace, O oh God. Fill us with your abiding love, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Yes, Jesus. So guys, what a powerful time we've had today. And I just, I just am astounded. And feel free uh, to share this, because I'm going to be putting this on YouTube. So feel free to share this with anyone today. Send this around the world if you want, because I really sense the Lord saying that we need to start praying without ceasing. We have a lot of entertainment, we have a lot of spectacle, but we don't have a lot of prayer, and we need to get back to prayer. The Lord is saying prayer revolution. He's saying you start a prayer revolution. So, if you want to use this template in your churches to get together and pray and to seek the Lord about these issues, feel free. And we can start a prayer revolution together because this is the only way that the world is going to be healed. This is the only way that COVID can go. This is the way that life can be ret restored through prayer. The earth is groaning because creation is waiting for us to, to take our rightful place as believers. And one of the ways we can do that is to pray. So thank you for listening to this. And remember to share it. I'm going to post it on Facebook. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to ask you to share it with five people. Five people that you know. And together we will be able to start a prayer revolution. Thank you guys. Bye.
Start a prayer revolution. Hey, My people, oh, humble themselves and pray. I will hear from heaven. Forgive their sins and heal their land. If my people or humble themselves to pray, turn from their wicked ways. <laughs> Sorry, that song just came to my head right now. It's not fully formed. The words are not there, but it just came out. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Start a prayer revolution.